What's going on YouTube, Bird here, and in today's video, we are going over a very special weapon of mine, and that is the Medical Malpractice. Now, we did have this gun in the game in our old survival mode, but that is long gone. Now, it drops as a plan in our daily ops. So, I'm going to be showing you all the mods and the demonstration of this gun to see if you like it. But before we get into the video, make sure you like that button, subscribe for more Fallout 76 content, and let's get into it. Now that you've got the plan from Daily Ops, what you're going to do is learn it, then grab two legendary modules and all that junk over there to the right of the screen, and then you can craft this bad boy. This is a medic's gun, so it, the VATS crits will heal you and your group. It also has the plus 33 VATS hit chance, and 25% less VATS action points cost. This is a complete VATS gun but it's completely OP and I do love the paint on it. It comes battle ready once you, you know, you craft it and all that. So it's super sick guys. And now let's get into the mods. Now over in the mods, this gun does share the same mods as the 44 Magnum and the same skin. So whatever you have for that gun, you will definitely have for this gun. But starting in the receivers, there's a ton of different receivers for whatever play style you want to use, guys. I personally use the hardened receiver because it does the most damage and I didn't have to prime my receiver. And the only reason I didn't want to prime it is because I'm lazy. But if I was to recommend a receiver to have on it, I would definitely recommend the prime receiver. Now over in the barrels, there is a ton of different barrels and each of them make this gun look unique. Well, at least there's three different styles. We got the snub nose, we got the western style, and then we got the bull barrel. These are all pretty cool, but for my playstyle, I use the stabilized long barrel because it has superior range and recoil, which is very nice, very excellent for the way I play. And then we can go over to the grip. And there's two different types of grips. There's the one that the gun comes like already made with, and then there's this one with a bird on it, which is the one that I currently have equipped, but it looks really cool. And you can again come down here, choose whichever you want. Again, this is my playstyle, so I'm gonna be using the superior hip fire accuracy. Then we got the sights. We have four scopes over here. We have the standard sights, a short scope, and a short recon scope, or the reflex sight. I'm personally choosing the reflex sight because first off, it comes with it, and second of all, I think it I think it works better than uh, these having these scopes and then not having a scope. It's the best of both worlds. So, and then over in my skin, I have one paint for it, and that is the blue camouflage paint, which is kind of ugly, so we're not going to be using that. But I will give you all a better look at this gun. It looks amazing. They did an absolute amazing job on this gun. It says Red Raptors Firearms, Austin, Texas right there. I wonder if that's a real gun place. 44 Magnum. Oh, that red and black though, guys. That's insanely good. And it says Malpractice right there on the side. Oh, this is a beautiful gun and I am glad I get to test it today. Whew. I was so happy when it dropped, I forgot all about it. But, with that being said, let's get into the demonstrations. So starting off at the White Springs Golf Club, and that is because this place is filled with ghouls, and they're a little bit squishier than most targets. Then we'll move on to a harder target, and then a harder target. But, the build I'm going to be using for this gun is not a pistol build, guys. It's definitely not optimized for it. I do not have any pistol perks, sadly. But I do have, like, Covert Operative, which will give me a little bit of damage for a split second. Probably my first hit. Um, but we do have a ton of VATS perks, and this is a VATS gun, so we'll be using it in VATS. Then I have Nerve Rage. I am bloodied, so this will definitely help. But we do have Tank Killer over here, and your rifles and pistols ignore 36% armor and have a 9% chance to stagger. So, that's definitely a must, whether you're a commando build or a pistol build, and that's what we're going to be using. With all those perks on it, this gun is doing at 126 not bad, but if you are a pistol build, this you will do way better than me. I'm just testing this out and showing you guys how it does. And so we got a 214 just on him. Insane. Uh oh. Uh oh. He's running. Oh well. We're not going for him. 179. 419. 433. Not bad, guys. This is actually destroying them. That's insane. Boom. Boom. No chance. 433. Man, this gun is amazing and it looks cool. Like, this is a double whammy right now. Holy cow. Boom. Oh, heck yeah. Look at that. Six. 
659 what was it 653 659 holy cow that was insane i don't i don't know what the first number was i'll have to check that out that was insane though Whew. where did that come from and like even when i'm not in uh sneak it was still destroying them stupid bash damage 433 so this is hitting solid in the 400s and sometimes up to the 600s that's insane guys and again this looks freaking sick now let's see let's see boom 490 let's get one more good one two more good ones boom boom 490 490 all right, now let's move on to a bigger target. And now we're at West Tech Research Center, and this place is filled with super mutants, a little bit beefier than the ghouls, and we're gonna see how well it does. Again, this first shot is gonna be in sneak. Look at that, 328, 328, 285. Ooh. And again, all these VAT shots, they are healing us, or the VAT's crits are. So I've been, so, oh my God. And I'm not, again, I am not even optimized for a pistol build, guys. Tell this thing to get off of me. If I was a pistol user, this would definitely be... This is one of my favorite guns at the moment right now. But if I was a pistol user... Oh, stupid thing. If I was a pistol user... Oh my gosh, I would for sure be smashing this gun out. It's going to take a minute to get. Because it is a daily ops plan. And that God knows, you know, RNG sucks. But with the plan, you will be able to craft this. And oh, you guys will be so happy. Sorry. I had to kill him. Let me actually I'm gonna finish out all these guys. Piece of craps. You're a piece of trash. I don't I can't believe you did that. Alright, you let your doggy come all after me while y'all were standing back with your guns. Alright? You're lucky I don't got me a doggy. If I had me a doggy, you know? He'd probably he'd probably be home sleeping, but that's okay, because I wouldn't bring him out here. I don't trust y'all around my doggy. I wanna go my not dog get hurt. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Boom. All right, guys, on to a bigger target. And now we're a little bit south of Solomon's Pond to the super mutant behemoth Beth's Lair. And what we're going to do is we're going to start off with, you know, little sneak attacks. I think I deserve the advantage over this sink. Oh, now, now the Nerd Rage wants to kick in. My bad. 591, 372, 377, 554. Holy cow. This gun is just tanking her. This is insane, guys. Look at that. That is absolutely insane. This is, again, the medical malpractice, guys. Let me go back to it real quick. That way you can get a good look at it. The medical malpractice. Again, this is a daily ops drop. I just recently got it, and I am so glad. Look at this paint. It it's perfect in almost every way. I do wish the medical malpractice, uh, I wish the main effect, which is the medics, I wish that was vampire, but... It is what it is, and it definitely works out, guys. And if you enjoy the Fault 76 content and you want to see more, make sure you like the video, subscribe, and guys, I shall see y'all in the next one. Peace.